In this Cinema 4D Quick Tip, I'm gonna show you how to use the step effector to eliminate these nasty self-intersections that you'll sometimes see when you are sweeping a spline. So there are a few techniques for fixing this. One of them involves going in manually and grabbing these points and moving them out. And that works pretty well, but you see that you get these sort of uneven movements. And it looks like it's been sort of bent into shape and not necessarily uh, a nice smooth curve. The technique that I'm gonna show you involves using the step effector. And that allows us to take each point in sequence and move it out or back to eliminate or minimize and then control those intersections. So let's go over the process now. Here I've got my scene, I've got that intersection at each of these sort of loops. And what I wanna do is add in a MoGraph effector step, and I'm gonna drag this inside of my spline. And by default, the effectors only affect clones, but if you go to the Deformer tab, you can actually affect the points or polygons of your object. And if I go to the Parameter tab, I don't wanna affect the scale of my spline points, but I do want to affect their position. And I'm gonna try and affect their position on Z. Now, as I do this, we get this crazy movement of my points. And basically what's happening is they are trying to push either in or out from these curves. And that's because my transform space here is set to node. If I change this to effector, what will happen is it's gonna use the axis of my effector to move my points either forward and back. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move them forward and I no longer have those nasty intersections. Or I might, but they're much more tolerable because the front portion is not intersecting completely. Or I can go in and make a really strong adjustment and completely eliminate those intersections. Now the one downside of doing this is if I look at this from the top, I'm getting this very linear diagonal shape. And one way to correct that is to go into my step effector settings and drag over this rightmost point and add in a new point at the far edge. And I can now come in here and slide this middle point around and decide where it's gonna push out the most, keeping an eye out for any intersections that might occur. And I can also play around with the interpolation of these points. Now, having done this, I now have a curve that comes out, loops around, minimal intersections or none. I can just sort of play with that. And then goes back around nice and neatly. And you can really tweak the beginnings and the ends to get just the look that you want. So there you go, a simple technique for using the step effector to evenly space out your points along the Z axis along the length of the spline.